Renee Rabbit and my X14 templates are available for purchase. I've got a pro template and a standard template. We're taking a look at the pro template here. There's way too many tweaks to your existing residential template to even list in a video. It would take me way too long. So I do have that in a process video if you're interested. Now we can just take a look at some quick features of this. One is that my templates are all driven by a new versus existing workflow. So that if I draw in a new wall versus an existing, you're gonna see in my working saved plan views, I've got a very colorful default. But if we go to a print set, we can see that those change to something less colorful. You also see we've just got a couple of little quick ideas here, which is that we've got construction lines. We've got methods for getting construction lines and plans very, very quickly. If we switch back to my working plan view. You're going to see we've got quarter inch Rab's favorite dimension tool. I love this tool. It's conformed to all of the newest standards in the X14 beta. When I drag this through, it's going to show me my wall widths with the manual dimension tool. It's only going to snap to that interior surface layer. Of course, you can click on this, double click on it, open it up, edit it on the fly and change the defaults as you see fit. And for the exterior side of this Rab's favorite dimension tool, we'll just show you. We're going to drop in a couple of windows just so we've got some reference and then a door or so that we can see this as well and then hit that auto exterior you're going to see it's dimensioning to center line of these windows it's got a very first um, specific style i will say my uh, dimension defaults also are very accurate so that if i draw a manual dimension through here you notice it didn't pick up a window but if i draw it right along that window line it's going to pick up all of those windows so same thing with my interior dimensioning tool it's got a couple of other tricks using the quarter inch rab's favorite what this enables us to do is keep only one master default set i've only got one default set makes things really simple to understand and navigate then when we switch to our print sets it's pretty easy to see how everything conforms from there Let's use that new tool framing, build all framing. We can show it on these layers and look at that pops up. looks pretty nice. Same thing with the framing roof plan. You can see there. And then if we switch over to just a working plan roofs only, this is where I do any kind of manual roof editing. I also have a working plan view for furniture layout. That way, if I get into my library browser, drop in a couch, you're going to see it switch to the quarter inch interior decor dimension default. And if I switch to an interior dimension tool, it's going to measure that couch. Otherwise, the manual dimension tool will circumvent that couch. Same thing if we draw in a solid and we get into a regular working plan view. And let's just get rid of all these dimensions real quick. We're going to use that manual dimension tool again and draw through. And you notice it's not picking up that solid, but the end to end dimension will in fact pick up that solid. So a couple of different dynamic things you can do with my dimension defaults. And this is just tip of the iceberg. Of course, you get a bunch of my material files with my template plan. You also get a couple of quick tools, namely that in my, uh, template plan I don't have casings on most of my fenestration and that makes it so that when I'm doing an as-built condition it's easy to just bump it to a wall and then bump it off of that wall a specific dimension but at the end of getting my as-built dimensions I might want to add some moldings so I have a tool that's built into this package to add moldings to everything in the room including your exterior doors so very quick and easy to add and delete moldings as we need be. You also get included that, uh, you know, delete your ceiling plane if you need to, or add that ceiling plane back into any given room. Very quick and dynamic tools. Of course, the PBR looks great with these materials. These are materials I've used for a very long time, built over a long period of time. I'm not going to use PBR for this video, but there you go. Now let's shut this down and take a look at some other little highlights of this whole package. I'm going to get into uh, our plot plan. And what you're going to see here is we've got some new coverage macros here. And these are really easy to conform to your existing coverage. And what they do is they report to a project information CAD detail. If I scroll through all of my different CAD details here, project information, what's going to happen here is 
everything is driven by a bunch of macros that are in our custom object fields. So I just come in here, input my information. That's going to populate my project information here. It's also going to do my lot area coverage and lot analysis, including condition space, all based on what we we're just looking at in that plot plan view. So some really dynamic tools there. Some other things you'll notice is we've got half a million details in the pro templates. And these details are all driven from a macro designation tool. You can see here, we'll just take a look. Here's this R38 bat fill, and that's for our ceiling fill. Let's get into our project information macro designations. We're gonna look for something that looks like, there we go, R38 bat fill, we see this here. And then we need to look at it on this diagram and you can see on this diagram, there is the leader that is going to R38 bat fill. So if I switch it up to this R30, I only need to double check that it did in fact do this. Sometimes I need to click on that to get it to fire. There we go, R30 bat fill. And then going back to this, it's been updated here. And these macros live within all 25 details and counting. So we've got a ton of different details. They're all drawn by me. So they all have that same style and look to them. They're very nice looking, very clean. Pretty easy to read for the most part. We get some kind of advanced ones in here as well. Then we've got keynotes and schedules and legends and you name it and you're going to see we've got point markers here that's just to make sure that everything is uniform and the same size throughout got a couple of cool little items here like the braced wall panel schedule that is driven by notes automatically it's very easy to grab this note drop it and drop it in a line in a braced wall plan view got a change log that's ever growing all the little tweaks and fixes that we get into like i said a couple hundred hours into this template so a very very seamless feeling template it works really well there's going to be a video link section you can see there's one here already you only need to click on this and click on a video link and what that'll do is bring up a youtube video explaining how to do something so that's a pretty nice thing that's built into these templates let's get off of these views back into a saved plan view and we'll get back into the redline review in redline review we've got a bunch of different links to all my different search engines so it's very easy to click on this link and get into my model search or seamless texture search or building code lookup the only other thing about this redline review that i like is that if we open up this camera this is specific to the redline camera so if you're having a meeting with clients or you're having a meeting with a collaborator it's very easy to click on your note drop a note in here and what i like to do is type in the text above line section we need to fix this and look at that it's going to show up and it's going to bind to that particular point right and something i like to illustrate is all of my text are driven by text styles, which means that it's very easy to click on a note like this, get into your Aldo or your object properties and simply change the text style on the fly to what you need it to look like. And you can see here, very simple. We need to fix this. Yeah, we do. We can see that that window is incorrect. So there we go. Now, when we look back here, we actually do in fact have a note schedule that is highlighting all those red lines. And you can see that that red line note is here in this redline review saved plan view it doesn't exist in the working plan view and it certainly doesn't exist in your print sets so tons of features built into these templates they're for sale now let me know if you're interested i'll get you a package i'll explain a few things and then we'll take it from there